What's up guys? Today we're going to check out the new Enshrouded trailer that they just dropped, a new patch. Um, looks like a new zone and some other sweet new features that they're coming out with. If you're not familiar with Enshrouded, Enshrouded is a co-op up to 16 players um, survival action RPG. Um, so if that sounds up your alley, then I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a super fun game. Um, you got mage, melee, warriors, rangers pretty much everything there for you that you can play um as well as being able to mix and match between those different kinds of classes too so it's not just to have you strapped down as one specific class but um let's just jump into the trailer here and check it out let me tell you a tale about a hero and his pursuit of adventure like they brought in the, uh, Our hero was taking his afternoon <laughs> stroll in Blackmire. He was intrigued to explore the new land ahead. He never once ran away from a worthy fight. Though today, our hero was seeking the mystery around him, sure waiting to unfold. <laughs> Got a loot, a flute, harp. Once he had explored his melodic More side drums, enough, he began to wonder what else was awaiting him in this new land of opportunities. It was nothing like what he had seen before. Through the treetops to the city of the ancients. Yep, anywhere, as yeah. much beauty this place beholds, danger and peril waiting around every corner. It's like a, but he was no ordinary man. Not really a new boss. He was brave and... Oh, come on! Huh? Well, this hasn't turned out the way I hoped it would. Go on, you fearless flameborn. Forge your own tale around the mysteries of Blackmire. I mean, it's sweet to do... or uh, It's sweet to see that they're doing new updates, adding new things to the game, so... That's always really great to see from some of these smaller gaming companies. Uh, this is the second part of the... Enshrouded's second update updates. is out now. Don't feel like reading the patch notes? No worries, let's dive into the highlights and see what's new together. Introducing the Blackmire, a yep. new area in the north of the Revel Woods, where everything is a little bit bigger. Whether you like to play in the muck or saw from the treetops. So it looks like this is like... Might be even even, I say bigger, but it's more just like bigger in the case of like verticality, where like the first couple zones are really just like a base level, and then you go down into like the shrouded areas, and then once you get out into like the desert area, then you even have like a higher level. Um, now it looks like we have multiple different levels. So grounds down there. This is still part of the tree. It looks like. So there's five or six different levels there, possibly even more. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. It's a good thing that they <laughs> added those jump pads. There's something so to love for to everyone see. here. The area contains new quests, enemies, and secrets to uncover, new as well as new items and building blocks to unlock. The Black Mire is perfect for explorers around level 13 to 15 with gear to match. And if you want to be safe, just avoid splashing around in the mud so much. Mm -hmm. If you're tired of climbing trees and want to catch a break, why not sit down and play some tunes? Rescue our brand new NPC, Valerie of the Silver Strings, and learn from her how to craft some musical instruments to turn any downtime into a jam session. When starting to play, you can join in with others already playing a song nearby. Cool. Playing music at the campfire the also adds to the rested the bonus duration and you can whip out a lute, <laughs> drum, hop or flute in the wild to rest on the go. While we're talking about adventuring, we're happy to announce that Update 2 introduces the option to replay quests in a personal progression. Starting with this update, each character tracks which quests they participate in while playing with others on any server. All the Embervale quests you've missed are listed on the quest journal and can be toggled to miss quest mode at any time if you want to catch up on quests. No more. So this is nice because in the game, the quest progression used to just be like server based, so... If two of you were playing on the same server, like me and my friend, if I advanced the quest, then you wouldn't be able to get like essentially the rewards or 
whatever from that specific quest. Now the quests are going to be specific to each player instead of just the server, um, which apparently a lot of people have been asking for, and that does make sense, especially when there's like there's like certain rewards tied to each quest, and especially if quests now give a really good amount of experience, uh, you'll be able to go back and do all those quests that you missed. Oh, yelling at Steve because he's played without you and you missed the story. Note that the participation has been tracked since update 1 and Embervel quests that were completed before update 1 will show up in the section Missed Embervel quests and may have to be completed again to display as complete in this section. Get ready for Embervel Fashion Week. Players now have the option to hide her. Well, look, they've added a uh, transmog now. So you can have this gear on, but you still look like this. Helmets and gloves, as well as secondary equipment slots to override the visual appearance of your gear. Now you can fight in style without compromising on survivability. Server hosts, <laughs> this one is for you. You can now configure various roles with different levels of permissions tied to passwords. Permissions. The main focus on this first version is to protect player bases and chests from unwanted interference. On dedicated servers, user groups with corresponding permissions can be configured. Permissions include the following rights in the player bases. Taking items out of containers, building and removing blocks or props, terraforming, as well as adding or removing flame altars, upgrading the flame altars, kicking or banning other players. We are eager for your feedback on this feature, so let us know what you think. Let's cut the thread in now, features. we are introducing like a new servers. weapon type to Ember Veil, dual wielded daggers. These bad boys deal sweet dexterity daggers. scale damage and are perfect for the ranger class. Oh, well, As part of an ongoing effort to improve the combat balancing and effectiveness okay, of each like class, many tweaks and fixes have straight. been added to better align with various classes. Oh, that was cool. As always, we will continue to work on combat polishing and balancing throughout okay. the early access period Pretty and sweet. beyond. Oh, so please share your place. feedback and suggestions on Ooh. feature upvote and our Discord. That's pretty sweet, actually. Finally, here's a bunch of miscellaneous improvements to make like a flameborn that. experience smoother. Naming Quality altars life. and bases, so you can finally personalize your world even more. Show okay. character names instead of Steam account names in multiplayer. Show character names on the tombstone, so you know exactly who to blame. I mean, <laughs> help. Excluding the action bar when selecting move all from storage chests. But wait, there is more. Who am I kidding? If you want to check out the full patch notes, please visit us on Steam, Discord, or our website. And remember, if you want to help us spread the word, comment below with good work, guys. We will catch you next time, adventures. They didn't really talk about the building too much. I think they went over that there's some new building blocks. Um, if you're in a building, and Shadow is one of the best games that are and try to have some of the best building um, for a f survival game. Uh, yeah, you'll have to just check it out. I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but let's go over the highlights here. Um, anything that we might have missed. Got the new zone, player base quest, musical instruments, the transmog system, permissions on servers, new weapon. There, they changed combat stuff, so they... Looks like they did some changes to the mages. Oh, they made some changes to everything. Oh, that's pretty sweet. They've done a lot of work. Been doing a lot of work. Um, yep, completing quests, number of experience, time saver executed quests, blah, blah, blah. Meat-based stuff, clean bandages. Now also remove poison status. Okay. Those now lose durability as intended. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> okay. Rogue armor. For the warrior now features a bonus for the skill merciless strike. Okay. Changes the building and farming, increases the speed of planting and harvesting. That's nice. Remove saffron as an ingredient. Okay, perfect. Yucca palm now required yucca fruit. The Vuk refaction has been expanded. The Vuk for healer shaman and uh Healer Shaman and Caster Shaman can now block a player's melee attacks. Oh, really? The first shoulders now attack faster and more difficult to parry. Okay, we made the game a little bit harder. There's like some pretty good changes. I'm going to have to check it out. And Shadow's a lot of fun. I've spent a lot of time in this game. Probably more than 80 hours. Yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, comments...
recommendations, leave them in the comments below. You have a great day. It's a goodbye, just a goodbye, forever and ever, you never come.